All right. Let, let's uh, further find out whether or not this apology of the PDP is half-hearted or whole-hearted. Okay. Well, I think you posed the first question then to our, <laughs> to our guest, uh, Mr. Katron Onudu joins us. He's a member of the People's Democratic Party. You're welcome to Sunrise Daily. Thank you for having me. Well, you just heard from <laughs> Chamberlain there. He says, he's wondering, is this half-hearted or whole-hearted? It's a whole-hearted uh, public statement based on our humility. We are actually the real ones who could say this. I'm surprised that I, mean, I, I would have been shocked out of, out of my socks if you had said it was half-hearted, you know. But you've seen it's uh, cool. you, you've seen a lot of responses uh, ever since that apology came. A lot of people have said before now yes. that the PDP should apologise. Interestingly, uh, just a few months to the next general elections, we hear the chairman, the new chairman of the People's Democratic Party, apologising on, on behalf of the people. And you know, some people have said that's remarkable. But you continue to see reactions. Federal government to PDP, forget apology, return looted funds. These are some of the responses that we're hearing. How are you taking the reaction? We don't take him seriously because he's just talking. Looted funds was used to put Buhari in power. And he's not done nothing about that. That's by the raising of a white paper by the reversed government. So leave Buhari. He's not a serious person. To I, I don't know that it is. It, it, I don't think that it is President Buhari who has said that directly, but this is what well, we hear. Well, that's what government. I'm saying. The looted fund the was used party. to put the APC in power. The APC is not a bank. And when we did an audit in River State, a white paper was raised mm. to say money was stolen from River State and he never did nothing, the APC didn't do nothing about that. So what mistakes we, precisely are you apologizing for, if we may ask? We are apologizing for our use of impunity during our ways, our days in power, the impunity and the lack of internal democracy that hurt a lot of our members who now abandoned us, and we're telling them we're sorry. We're also apologizing to Nigerians for the mistakes we made that caused suddenly for them now to be foisted with this uh, uh, coalition that is not a political party that you have seen that has damaged what we built, the longest period of uh, economic progression this country has ever had uh, and due to the president's interference with monetary policy we run into a recession uh, if you had allowed the things the way we tried to set it up the way we tried to democratize the economy after which it became the largest in Africa and still remains that today so we have done quite a lot of things but in those things we've done in those years we've made quite some mistakes. In reflection, including the impunity we have also used against ourselves and uh, the way we have mishandled certain things, we admit we're human. Mr. Ono, and we've made some mistakes yes. and we are very sorry Mr. for that. Mr. Anonu, do I want to yes. come in here because you know, some people will look at it and say, well, what, what you know, convenient timing. You know, it's been three, almost three years now that you've been out of power, your party has been out of power and uh, there hasn't really been this full-throated apology to the Nigerian people over the mistakes that you've mentioned. Uh, why now, just before an election? You know, some people would say, look, is this just an insincere way of kind of uh, coalescing support ahead of the next election? What are your thoughts about that? It's not about the next election. It's about us getting a stability. After the elections, there was a lot of brow. We went to the court. We've just come back from that cut, and we're beginning to uh, gain some quality of stability. And then, in reflection about all, and while we went to court, while we had all those problems, how the country has become, we believed, yes, we wronged, including our members and also Nigerians, through our mistakes. There is a need for us to start all over. And that is, you show your humility by saying, I'm sorry, we are truly very sorry for our mistakes. I'm sure, I'm sure that you know, Nigerians would probably agree that repentance is the first step to redemption, but then after repentance, if it's, if it's genuine repentance, what, what's next? Because we know your national chairman, Prince Uche Secondos, has come out to try and rebrand and reposition the party ahead of the next election. 
what does that actually entail in terms of bringing out uh, clear strategies across sectors that Nigerians will be able to trust and buy into ultimately? We have been following Nigerians and their voices. We have noticed what has happened. We also take part responsibility for the come about of this inept government. And uh, we believe uh, to re-engage with Nigerians, to gain their trust, as the need for us to, after full stock taking, to say, look, we are sorry for the mistakes we made. One, two, to our members also who were hurt by our impositions and other very, very unacceptable actions, we tell those PDP members, we are sorry, because a lot of our members, out of anger, left the party. Mm. So we are sorry for our mistakes that caused them to leave.